So guys, we are going to start breast conservation surgery. In this, actually, it is usually performed for the it is usually performed for the duct carcinoma in C2 and patient with having a stage breast cancer stage 1, 2A and 2B means mainly for the early invasive breast cancers. Then it is called as lumpic tommy and it's it is also called as tylic tommy so in case of wide local excision in case of wide local excision in case of wide local excision this is aimed at removing the tumor this is aimed at removing the tumor plus a rim of 1 cm a rim of at least 1 cm of normal breast tissue so this is called H called as wide local excision and this is having margin of 1 cm and quadrantectomy is mainly it's a excision of whole quadrant excision of whole quadrant excision of whole quadrant in which the yeah that contain tumor excision of whole quadrant that contain tumor is called as quadrant ectomy so if we are going to remove remove the lump area so if we are going to remove this lump area it might be possible that some amount of uh, it might be possible that some amount of lump may left okay so recurrence may occur so do, uh, for this we will give radiotherapy after removal after lumpectomy ya wide local excision we will give radiotherapy to patient but radiotherapy is a uh, contraindication in uh, contraindication of radiotherapy is pregnancy we can't give a uh, radiotherapy in case of pregnancy and one more point is here in case of local recurrence is more common in younger women and in those with high grade uh, those women with high grade tumor so patient whose margin are involved patient whose margins patient whose margins are involved should have a further local excision should have further they should have further local excision so before going to radiotherapy so now we are going to start methods of breast reconstruction we have three methods autogenous in, in this case patient own tissue are used and second one is alloplastic in this case silicone gel implants are used and sin silicone implants plus saline refills are used and with combined means both autogenous and alloplastic will be used in combined so we will first discuss about autogenous type and in this autogenous uh, we, we will use tram flap tram flap is most commonly used and tram flap is a transversus ab rectus abdominis muscles flap will use we can see in picture transversus rectus abdominis muscles this flap will use in case of breast reconstruction this is called as autogenous means patient own tissue are used and other flaps like uh, latissimus dorsi flap thoraco epigastric flap lateral thigh flap and rubens flap rubens flap is uh, mainly based on the deep circumflex iliac artery and second method of breast reconstruction is alloplastic breast reconstruction in this we have first is silicone gel implant actually silicone gel implants are world widely used for the breast uh, construction and breast augmentation so breast become greater in size so first we have silicone gel implant which we can see this silicone gel implant and silicone implants plus with saline refills we can use for the breast re alloplastic breast reconstruction 
so guys here we will see the procedure of alloplastic breast reconstruction in this case we have this pectoralis major muscles and above that this we have our breast okay so in this case first we will uh, in first we will do mastectomy in that we will cut and remove the breast mass from the pectoralis major and after that and after that this part of skin is left only this part of skin is left only this part of skin is left only so we can place our silicone gel with in two places first beneath the skin here first is beneath the skin here and second is beneath the pectoralis major so first one we can see first one is here beneath the skin we can place and second one is beneath the pectoralis major muscles and the preferred location for the silicone gel implant is beneath the pectoralis major muscles beneath the pectoralis major we can see here is pectoralis major muscles and beneath the pectoralis major is preferred location to implant the implant or gel silicone gel and in some cases if any implant related complication are there then investigation of choice is mri we will go for mri so third method of breast reconstruction is combined breast reconstruction and where we are using this uh, combined method of breast re reconstruction is actually some some females have large breast so after mastectomy it's difficult to restore the symmetry of breast only so rest so uh, we can restore this with the help of flaps and implant both so we are using tram flat flap and implant like transversus rectus abdominis muscles flap and latissimus dorsi flap with, with implant silicone gel implant yeah with saline refill